My name is Richard Mackenzie Childs and I'm an artist, design home furnishings. We just sort of immediate, always have just thought sometimes things that seem the most antagonistic are the most successful when you put them together. We're in the Finger Lakes area of New York State and we're in the 1790s farmhouse. Uh, we moved here in 1980 and on driving into the village saw this abandoned farmhouse thing in the middle of a field and thought it was perfect. So when we moved in we had nothing. We just arrived with three trunks and so we needed not only dinnerware but then we needed tables and chairs and everything and so we just started working. This is our daughter's bedroom. Probably one room in the house that predates all of our work that ended up being known as Mackenzie Childs. And you can see by the painting on the wall, um, cracked as it is, this is actually the original plaster of the house, so the plaster is from 1790. We kept everything that was original here, you know, beams in the living room and the windows and everything that could be saved, we saved. This room <coughs> was originally the attic. We were actually in Indonesia designing a line of rattan furniture, and this was the first piece we did, we were sleeping on these mats that we ended up buying and gluing to the ceiling. So the area that we were working in, they didn't have hotels, and that was the accommodation. This armoire, which actually is the door into the rest of our bedroom. So you come up and go through, you come into the bathroom, dressing room area. This is Victoria's dressing room. We each had this box that we had been carried around for our whole lives. And so when we did this room, we decided to take everything out of these little boxes and we glued it all into the ceiling of this dormer. Everything up there relates to something that one of us did at some point in our life. So a good example is this was a napkin from our first dinner at the White House. When we stripped this room down and got ready to do something with the walls, Victoria's mother was visiting, and Victoria turned to her mother and said, Mom, I think you should paint the walls to look like they're, we're looking outside. And her first reaction was, but I've never painted before. We're actually in the garage that I'm now using as a studio. I probably work in here every day that I'm, I'm up here. This is a little building we call the studio. It's sort of sitting um, just outside the main house, between the house and the carriage house. And uh, we've used it as a studio, as an office, as a place to sleep. This is the um, picture of our house a few months after we purchased it. We were very excited about how neat and tidy it looks because we actually have a front door now and all the glass is replaced. This is one of the bathrooms in the carriage house. And this is a room that Victoria decided that Wallpaper should be paper, so it's literally paper glued to the wall. With anyone in the visual arts, it's just constant refining and changing, and our life is just like that. It's very fluid. Love home and design? Make sure to subscribe to Space TV on YouTube.